Action! Action! We're live. Yeah, we're Action! <laughs> Good morning. You scared me a little bit then. Did I make you jump? jump? Action! Alright, stop now. Woohoo! Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> Jax. Woohoo! Hee hee, Shamon! Check your best self. What were that on? Bow selector, weren't yeah. it? Yeah. Hee hee! Shamon! Okay, anyway. So... Ow. Now I've finished doing my... Bow selector, Michael... Jackass. I don't know what you call it. Ah, Michael Jackson. No, Jackson. I anyway. No. I didn't actually. It was just what I'd heard other people tell me. You're just trying to get in with the cool kids, were you? I was lying to make friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today we're going to talk about... Um, the difference... The difference... Between... Between... Doing a talk to... Uh, bunch of bright young things who are still at university and are sponges v doing a talk to people who either the boss has said right you're gonna listen to this or they think they're gonna get brownie points from the boss to go and for going to something like that wow i don't think i'm gonna get all that into a title it's quite a long title it is a very it? long title what yeah. could you call it we're gonna call it uh, youth versus mature. Youth versus experience. Youth. Youth versus mature. Mature. You. I don't. I don't know. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so the whole idea of the topic was last night I was doing a, a motivational talk to something called the Entrepreneur Society, which is part of the Sheffield University, and. What were there? Maybe 100? 150? I don't know. I'm not Didn't quite count. sure. Didn't count. 100, maybe 150 or so, what was what, what was there last night. Great audience. And when I got there, the organisers, they'd, they'd obviously um, got everything all set up, ready for me to do a PowerPoint. Uh, and so when I got there, and he says, um, how do you want to hook up your PowerPoint? I says, well, I've not got one. Which gave him a fright. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't have a PowerPoint? I don't know why I did that accent. Was he American? I don't know, I'm not sure. Was he I don't fake think so. American? A fake American. You ain't got... No, anyway. I'll stop trying to do an accent. Um, and I says, yeah, I, I don't do PowerPoint presentations because I find that they're a distraction to people. They're constantly looking at what the next slides are going to be rather than paying attention to, to, to the stuff that you're doing. And I, I find that... When you don't use a PowerPoint, the audience are a lot more engaged. To which you were like, okay. Uh, feeling a little bit nervous. This was one of the biggest events that this particular part of the university had put on uh, this year. So he was a little bit nervous because he'd promised uh, everyone that turned up a, a fantastic time. And he's like, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. We'll rock and roll. And we did. Do you know, there, there was such a, an, an engaged audience. They were all queuing after to have photos with me. Um, it was like a, an autograph signing. And an autograph signing and <laughs> wanting my cards and details and stuff, which were, do you know what, absolutely wonderful. And, and that's what's kind of spurred this decision today to talk about the difference between young, eager students compared to people that's... Well, Joe, that's been out in the big world on them, on them, on themselves for a while. Do you know, who's been in work, who started a business, who's who become closed. conditioned. No, they, what they are is they're closed to suggestions because they're the type of people who sit in the audience and go and nod because they think they know everything. What do they do? <laughs> And no, they're not true. actually listening to what you're talking about because they're like, I know all this. I know all I know, this. I, know, I could do this. Yeah. I know everything. Yeah, totally. So they're not even open to suggestions of trying anything. And new. you know who you are. Mm. And and I've been there, do you know, we've all been there. And, and it's difficult, do you know, you do think that you know more than you do. But the thing that's so great about the open mind is that it absorbs so much and, and students are conditioned in this way aren't they? they they're in that constant stage of their life where they're just wanting to suck this information in and absorb it all and, and that was kind of really evident last night you know the audience were really booming they were really engaged they, they really kind of hung on to every word and then they were asking loads of like really great questions at the end as well like really really good powerful questions 
not your kind of questions that you would usually find they were, they were digging deep and really kind of mm. wanting to know a lot of mechanics behind everything you know about how you, you you kind of juggle your life and your work and how you pick yourself up from from when you've been from setbacks, from setbacks just really deep stuff at the same time as well so that's the kind of thing what's what we're talking about right now is the difference between the the kind of eager young mind that's open to suggestions or the more closed condition mind that's been in the workplace that's that's maybe had a year or two or several years uh, under the belt as a as a sole opener you know, working for themselves building business and stuff like that as well um, but the cynical people will say oh that's because they know what you're talking about but it's not it's not at all because even if you know a topic inside out there's always something you can take from it but if you've got that closed mind mentality then you're not going to take anything from it absolutely absolutely and and that's the thing is there's you know you can always learn something new that you're constantly awesome. learning to try and find something new um, yeah it's okay though. Uh, constantly striving and trying to find something completely new to learn and you, you'll see like the most successful people whether it's in terms of, the, of, of a rich life that they live or whether it's a financial rich life that they live whatever it is that they've got they're constantly looking at getting better you know they're always learning they're always educating themselves they're always attending seminars they're always reading more books they're always putting themselves out there to try and learn more they never know it all um, it's not just about going to these things though is it it's about engaging and I think that's one big difference you know you know like the student mentality it's at that stage where it your mindset is I want to contribute I want to engage with people whereas people who are a bit more kind of long in the tooth think they know it all it's like mm, I'll go and I'll listen but they're not listening they're just hearing the, well they're just attending aren't they yeah. yeah they can hear the words but they're not listening to any of it yeah. and, 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 and but the thing what's even more important than all of that is what you do with that information after do you know do you do anything with it do you apply that information learn or do you just kind of stack it on a notebook on top of other notebooks what's in your office or in your den or wherever it may be just stacked high full of notes or do you take that system that that newfound knowledge and do you apply it do you, know, do you put it out there and that's what you've got to do you've got to really start applying everything do you know this information and there's loads of it, you know, there's loads and loads of information around. Um, you can go into Google and pretty much find information based around any topic, any topic you want, and you can start applying it straight away. Now, the good thing about working with other people, so working with mentors or coaches and, you know, working with things like what, what I do with people is that there's a lot of information there that's now put in order. Do you know, it's not just all chucked together, it's got an order to it and it's delivered and it's working and it's doing it for yourself and it's making you accountable and that's the thing that you've got to do. So, I mean, let's have a chat, you know, go over my website, johncovey.com forward stroke, get started, fill that form and let us know what areas you struggle with. Is it is it digital marketing? Is it about uh, getting yourself organised, you know, time management? Is it sales? You know, do you need to know how to, how to get better at sales? And one of the things I was saying to to the students last night is I think one of the questions were what what one thing would you advise anybody to do do you know wanting to get into business for themselves and I said do you know what I cut my teeth knocking on doors no door to door sales and I honestly think that do you know forget the national service I said this to them do you know the old national service that everyone used to have to do with, with the forces um so that, you know, just put everyone on door for two years. You know, go and work doors because the skill set and the mindset and the ability and everything that you learn from knocking on doors is absolutely invaluable. And you'll take that for your entire life. It's it's tough, it's hard, it's fun, it's engaging, you meet people, you talk to strangers. Do you know, it is absolutely just invaluable the the, the, the lesson that you learn there. So I don't know how we got onto that topic just then, but it's good anyway. No, it's good. It's good. Uh, so yeah, so to, to wrap up this kind of 
chat. Students are very engaged. You know, they're looking to try and learn more. They, they take that information and they apply it. And I think that as we get a bit older, we do get more stubborn. So we'll listen and we'll listen and we'll listen and we'll listen, but we do nothing with it because we think we know it all already. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest fundamental shift between the two. Do you know, just be humble. Be completely humble and just absorb as much information as you can. Do you know, listen to podcasts, listen to audio books, read more books, do you know, watch more of my videos. <laughs> <laughs> watch more of these. And read your blogs. And, and read my blogs. And not just mine, do you know, other people's. Do you know, this, this information is, is there for you to use. And, and I've said this many times, but I wish information like this were as accessible when I was starting. When I were 20, 21 years old, I honestly wish that this kind of information was as, as accessible as it is today because it would have made such a big difference to, to the way I'd have done things through the last 16, 17 years or so. Final thought? Final thought. Um, if you are, I, I don't know, probably just think like a student. What a great saying, like that. Thanks. Yeah. Hashtag think like a student. That's fantastic. I love it. I love it. Think like a student. I'm frozen. <laughs> I, 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 do you know what? I can't actually top that. And I know we have a lot of laughing and joke about it. Yeah, 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 that one. But that's actually really, really good. Think like a that, Do you know what? Actually, that's going to be a new blog. Think like a student. I love it. I'm going to write a book called Think Like a Student. Do it, babe. That's awesome. I love it. In fact, you should do it. Uh, in fact, you ghost write it. <laughs> oh, yeah, because yeah, I've got so much free time as well, haven't I? <laughs> Wonderful. I love it, I love it, I love it. Right, my final thought is just be humble. Do you know, no matter where you are, uh, how old you are, no matter what you think you know, be humble. Do you know, you can always learn something, something new. You can always learn how to do something quicker or better or different and just make sure you apply it. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Ciao.